And ooh, gem. Oh, wait. Damn, 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 damn. I always like it when games tend to break the fourth wall, right? I, th I think a good example of this is something like uh, DDLC, like Doki Doki Literature Club, where in the end, you literally have to like delete the character file, which I found pretty cool. And so did many other people. I also like it when games use external factors. That probably means the same exact thing, honestly. But again, you know, maybe something like a screenshot, you know, maybe when you take a screenshot, maybe, maybe we could do something with that, right? Again, I'm not too sure, you know, I don't know exactly what we could use, but maybe when the player takes a screenshot, we could do something. So in case you've yet, you haven't figured it out yet, this video is going to be about using screenshots as an actual, like, <laughs> gameplay mechanic. It's actually funny, I got this idea from this game, uh, I think it's called, like, Fierce to Fathom. Like, I was just watching some guy play it, and there's a section where you take a picture of these, like, cult members around the fire. But then the guy was, like, he, he had, like, the flash on on the camera, I guess, for some reason. And he took the picture, and there was, like, a big bright light from the camera. So they all looked at him and started, like, running towards his location. And it was, it was pretty creepy, right? It, it, was, it was a pretty cool uh, moment in the game but then it got me thinking like could you use photos as a gameplay element uh, there, there's a, another game called viewfinder where you actually take a picture and you can transform it into like a real 3d uh world it just has very like millennial dialogue so like i played the game but like i turned off like all of all of the voiced the lines in the game basically so i began thinking right could i implement this into my own game but again i didn't want something boring i didn't just want another oh camera system where you you have like some user interface which looks like a camera no, I want something like a screenshot. Now, the main question for me was, what do I want to take a screenshot of, right? So I, I literally just looked at gem on a, yeah, the toolbox, right? So over there, there we go. We have a diamond. Uh, we have a, yeah, we got this uh, big bright gemstone. We got this uh, rubies gem. We got a, <laughs> we got a Brawl Stars gem. Look at that. that that's pretty cool. And um, I just found a Samsung phone over here. So uh, we could also use that. You know, why not? The sides of the Samsung phone are just more of the phone, which, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if this was like the artist's uh, creative choice or not, but you know, it, 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 it looks okay, I guess. And so, yeah, my idea was to just have some item that we were supposed to photograph, right? And so whenever then the player takes a screenshot with these items actually within, you know, the player's camera, then we can reward the player in a certain way. And again, the possibilities here are genuinely endless. Like I, I, I even came up with the idea of like some sort of like wildlife simulator game. Like, like imagine it's like you and like a bunch of other players and you're in this like lush, dense forest and you know, you walk around and like you have to take screenshots of like, like real screenshots of like items that you find within the forest. Like, maybe you see some, like, squirrel, and you take a picture of the squirrel, and, you know, amazing. You get, like, some coins, and, you know, the screenshot gets, like, added to, your, like, your data bank or whatever. And I was also thinking, like, when I actually take the screenshot, do I want anything about the appearance to change? Because I've played Roblox games before, before, right? Where, like, you can take a screenshot, and, like, as you're taking the screenshot, it's, like, something's quickly changed. Like, for example, like, some user interface gets removed, or I've even actually played this game once. I don't remember the name of it. But whenever you would take a screenshot, it would, like, add, like, a little piece of text where it just said like screenshot or whatever like it was it was a really stupid thing i remember like i was trying to show my friend something and then it was just a big text that said screenshot i i have no clue if that was like some testing thing that they forgot to remove but point is because of that i know that you are able to manipulate things as a screenshot is being taken right so then i, I was wondering well how do i want the items to be manipulated and so my idea here was just something fun like what if um i don't know like like let's say when we take a capture of one of these things what if the camera just quickly like teleports like just right above this gem or whatever like it teleports like over here for example and like looks down on it and then it like you know um takes the actual capture or maybe like it teleports to like some angle like maybe teleports here or where i, I don't i don't really know right but like I, I feel like this could make for some cool looking shots like the camera just quickly teleports over here and then you know it takes a, a neat looking screenshot now what i did was i made a local script and i basically i looked up how to uh detect when a screenshot gets taken it's actually very simple it's a bit boring but you just say game capture service capture began you connect that to a function and then you just put whatever code in here that you want and it's going to run when a capture begins right or vice versa when a capture ends now the other 
another thing that I also wanted to ensure that we had was knowing that the camera is actually <laughs> looking at the thing that we want to capture. And what I'm thinking we can do here is we can just loop through all of these items. So I can just, you know, take all of these and I can put them into a model. Or actually, no, not a model, sorry, a folder. And actually, let me see, are, are all of these named correctly? We got the gem, we got the diamond, we got the crystals. I, I'll actually just call this ruby. We get amethyst, which I'm very tempted to call this Brawl Stars gem, but I guess let's let's leave it at amethyst. And then obviously Samsung. <laughs> there we go. I don't even use a Samsung. I'm not I'm not sure why I picked this in the toolbox, but I mean look at this. Oh oh wow. Yeah, the bottom of the Samsung is missing. That's amazing. But very simply, uh, what we could do is we could loop through this folder. So for IV in workspace, wait for child folder get children do right so we're basically just going through every single item in the folder with v being whatever item we're looping through and what i can do here is i can say local underscore on screen and i'll explain what these are is going to be workspace dot current camera and i believe it's world to screen point there we go yeah so this is a function that effectively asks for one position and it's going to return two variables so just like the two variables we made here first one is going to return some nerd stuff which no one cares about which is why i just called it an underscore but the second one is going to be a true or false that tells us whether this position is actually visible on the screen which is exactly what we need which is why i called it on screen so yeah world to screen point and it, it, it needs a position which is going to be this parts that we're looping through position so v dot position like so and then i'll say if on screen is true then is on screen else it's not on screen is not on screen there we go and we can actually just test this out real quick so we can just say print capture and we can just say the name of the item so v dot name so if i just play the game right now i can actually probably capture all of these in one shot so let me see <laughs> yeah look at that Captured Ruby, a Diamond, Ruby, Gem, Samsung, Samsung Amethyst. If I just go directly to this gem and I hit Capture, uh, like so. There we go. Captured Amethyst. Or then if I go here, uh, Captured Samsung. There we go. Yes, and then what I was thinking is we could literally just do something like uh, we could get the camera. So workspace.current camera. And in order to actually move the camera, we have to change its camera type, which is kind of confusing if you're like not a developer or if you're like, you know, a beginner. But basically camera type, we just have to set it equal to an enum dot camera type. There's a bunch of different ones, but scriptable is probably the one that we want. It has no default behavior and basically just does nothing unless you script it to do something. And if we ever want to change it back to normal, we also can do that. So, we, so if we set it back to custom, it perfectly goes back no interruptions so we can obviously use that when the capture ends but yeah a workspace dot current camera camera type is scriptable so then we can get the position of the part so i'll say parts pos uh is equal to the v dot position and so then what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna take the, the camera and i'm gonna set its c frame which is like a mix of position and orientation i'm gonna say c frame dot new and i'm just gonna give it the current part position but then we're also gonna add on some extra stuff so maybe like um math dot random one two and then yeah we can just literally do the same thing for all of these and then the other part of the c-frame is the rotation but we can just give it the position that we want it to look at and we want the camera to look at the item so here we can also say part position and it's gonna work fine because it's gonna look at the part so it all works out um yeah and then we can just take the same thing we could move it to capture ended but in this case you know we're not gonna print we're not gonna do any of this part position garbage instead i'm gonna set the camera type back to custom and i'm actually gonna delete the item so i'll say v destroy like so so i'm actually i'm actually just curious if we just do it like this uh let's see L -l -l let's start off with the gem first how would this look like so let me take the screenshot <laughs> oh that's pretty cool look at that captures look at that i mean come on that, that's pretty cool what if we do the samsung let's try the samsung Damn, that, that's also pretty cool. Mm, also, okay, I just realized, small issue, but unfortunately everything seems to have been destroyed because um, my camera ended up like looking at everything. So then I suppose instead of destroying it over here, what we could instead do is uh, over here, we could just say task dot wait, and we could like wait a second or something, and then we can destroy the part over here. So V destroy. And uh, this way, I believe it should be able to work fine. Oh, wait, is it? It has no collision. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Wait, oh, look at that. Yeah, so wait, if I make it spin and then I do a screenshot, I got I got like time this right. Give me a second. Uh, let's see. Okay. Look at that. That's cool. Oh, yeah. And then this appears. And then I do one over here. Let's see. Yep. There we go. Oh, and then it goes to Ruby as well. And then we can see my character. Okay, so that's a small bug 
<laughs> I suppose. So what I'll do instead then is, we just whenever the capture ends, I'm just gonna change the camera back to custom. Or actually no, as a matter of fact, let's not even worry about this. Let's not even worry about this. Just we're gonna wait our one second, and then we're gonna destroy the item, and then we're gonna change the camera. So this way, if we actually look like see a bunch of uh, parts, it should look something like this. Or wait, did it not? Wait, let's try again. Capture diamond. Capture ruby. That's actually interesting. I'm actually not too sure why it's doing it like that. Like, I thought it would, like, go to every single item, but instead it doesn't. Look at that. Goes to the diamond. Now it goes to the ruby. Now it goes to the gem. And then goes to the amethyst. And now it goes to the Samsung. That is cool. But then if I just take a random capture, nothing, nothing happens, of course. But yeah, look at it. If I go to captures, look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, man. You know what we could maybe even do? We could even maybe give it like an outline, right? So I could do something like um, local highlights and I can make a new highlight. I'll set the fill transparency to zero and I'll set the outline transparency to be... Or sorry, wait. The fill transparency is one and the outline transparency is zero. For those who don't know what a highlight is, it's effectively something like this, right? Where like it, it highlights the item and gives it some sort of outline. So in this case, I just want an outline. I don't want any sort of like, like fill. So yeah, I can just parent this to the part right before we take a screenshot, right? So let's see, if I, if I find this gem or whatever, and then we do this. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then we have one over here. Yep, there we go. We have an amethyst. And then a Samsung. That, I mean, come on, <laughs> that's pretty cool. And I suppose to finish off this video, um, if the player fails to, um, you know, take a screenshot of something, we should just jump scare the player and just 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 keep that thing there. So let's see, a scary face. So I, I used this in my tycoon video, so I don't want to use the same one. Uh, ooh, ooh, this is this is perfect. Look at that, very scary face. Okay, so yeah, look at that. We could just we, we, <laughs> that is so stupid. Yeah, but I could just make the background to be fully black and wait. Okay, if I make this to be my full screen. Ooh, okay, that's a uh, yeah. I don't know. I thought I thought it would be a bit a bit scarier than this, but we, you know we, this can work. So yeah, we can just say uh, else if not on screen, then we could just uh, we could take this screen GUI, right? So we could say game dot players local player uh, player GUI dot screen GUI dot enabled is equal to true. And I guess we could also play some scary sound. I mean, I don't know if my audio is recording right now, but let me just see. Ooh. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, okay. Again, no clue if anyone's hearing this right now, but it's like a loud thud, and it, it, it's a pretty cool jump scare thing. So yeah, I could literally just add an item into the workspace uh, called, I don't know, just I'll just call it sound. Very loud. I'm not sure if it's just my headphones or if it's just the sound, but it, it sounds very, very loud. So yeah, we could just enable this, and we could just say workspace dot sound lay. <laughs> so we're gonna play the game, and ooh, gem. Oh wait. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. What the hell? Oh, right, because it loops through the other things. Wait, oh, that's so stupid. That actually scared me a little bit, bro. <laughs> what I'll do is I'll just make a variable called count, and I'll just set it equal to zero. And if at least one of these is on screen, I'm going to say count plus equals one. And then at the end, we can say if count is equal to zero, then we do all of this, okay? Then we play the jump scare. Because, yeah, right now it's literally just... It was playing a jump scare for every item that wasn't on the screen, which obviously isn't what I wanted to do. So, okay, let's try it again. Wait, we found the gem. Okay. Okay. We found this. Okay, sick. Say less. Okay. Okay. Where's the Samsung? Okay. And then if I, uh, oh, you know, just want to take a picture of this. <laughs> All right. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's enabling itself a bit, uh, a bit late, <laughs> I'd say, but you know what? Perfect. I'm happy with this. There we go. I've just made a amazing game that relies on screenshots. But yeah, look, honestly, I, I do actually find this really cool, especially because like it actually saves to your gallery. Like this is something you can, that you can literally see just whenever you play any Roblox game, right? And I think that's pretty cool. I don't know. I, I think that way too many games right now, they kind of try to avoid like, all, you know, this cool stuff. And I don't know. I mean, Roblox, come on, Roblox gives us these tools for a reason right? So I think we should we should use these to their full potential, especially when taking a photo of this Brawl Star gym. Because bro, look at that. Look at how look at how cool that is. 
Like, damn, what the hell? But yeah, again, I do think this has a lot of potential, and I think that, um, I'm sure there's a lot a lot more you could do with this. I saw, I actually, I saw this video rec recommended to me. I didn't watch it, but it was, like, this guy who had a horror game, and he made it so that the horror game cannot be seen in any screenshots, which, you know, I didn't really see the potential, and, like, I didn't really understand what was so cool about that. But the video has, like, 2.1 million views. So it's pretty, it's pretty crazy, right? So it's, like, you know, obviously there's actually a lot more stuff that you could do with screenshots, and I'm sure that there's also things that I could do in terms of like oh yeah when the player screenshots just make the screen go pitch black or something as a matter of fact you know what J just to prove how easy this is i'm just gonna really quickly i'll make a color correction right and over here i'm just gonna say um yeah i'm just gonna be honest i'm gonna delete everything that i wrote down over here and i'll just say uh game uh lighting color correction brightness is equal to negative one and then i'll just do the same thing but for capture ended now i'm gonna set this back to zero just to show you how this stuff works i'm gonna take a capture right now Wow, look at that. Oh no, oh no, I don't see anything. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, damn, okay. Small small epilepsy warning right there, damn. All right, hope, no, hope none of you died because of that. But yeah, there we go. Point is, there's just a bunch, of, a bunch of stuff that you can do with screenshots, which I think is pretty cool. I'll keep my gallery like this. I think it... Oh yeah, the one gem, amazing. But yeah, you know, leave a comment. Let me, let me know what you thought. I, I honestly did kind of want to have a bit more time to play around with this because I actually do think that if I was able to kind of, you know, explore this a bit more and to actually turn this into like a full-fledged game, it would be pretty cool. Because like I said, in, like in the start of the video, like some sort of simulator where you like take a real screenshot of things I, I think would be pretty fun but yeah i mean like i said just in general i think roblox needs more of things like this and less of um you know adopt me tycoon uh, simulator 2 anime girl role play actually we can keep those but you know every everything else can go and yeah i mean you know i, I do hope that you learn something from this video i'll take a moment to shill here real quick because i wouldn't be a youtuber if i didn't do that obviously i got a course it's seven hours long it's like 27 bucks uh, linked in the description and the pinned comment. It's really good. I know I made it, but I, I can say that I made it with the perspective of me in mind. Because as a beginner, bro, I was watching a bunch of YouTube tutorials. It was just too long. I'll be honest. Maybe I'm stupid. I don't know. But it just took me way too long to filter through right information. And I made a course which I believe will get a beginner from beginner level to effectively expert level within just seven hours of completing it. So yeah, I mean, you know, take that into consideration. I got an Instagram, I got, I got a podcast if you want to go listen to that. And I'm also very close to 100k, and I'll be making a lot more of these types of videos soon. So if you enjoyed, you know, make sure to subscribe. Um, and yeah, uh, you know, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, and as always, we're back to basics. Thank you for watching.